So here's the thing. Okay. Uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and get right to sharing the screen today. Uh, all right. Okay. So this is an example of a bore before and after uh, photograph. This is not a bad photograph, but the colors are very washed out, right? This one, the colors are much richer and fuller and more vibrant. And uh thing is, you know, things in nature are great, but sometimes when we take photographs of them, they do just turn out like overly uh, bright or, you know, sometimes too dark or whatever. It doesn't accurately represent the environment that we took the photograph in, right? Same thing when we scan pictures, sometimes uh, black will become dark gray, white will become light gray, and it just kind of mutes the whole thing, makes it more mundane, and you want to get that contrast to pop again. So um, what, what's been happening sometimes, okay, first of all, we, we've been partnering with professional photographers, and they are great, and their pictures are always spot on. But sadly, I've seen a couple of projects recently where Someone got a photograph from not one of our professional photographers. Shout out to um, John Wild and to Connor Chaney. We, when they give us a picture, it is right. It looks just right. But uh, some of our, our uh, students have worked or, or have received photos from other sources, not from professional photographers. And I'll say, like, make me a sports poster with this photograph. And the photograph will not be as good as this one. Instead, it will be a photograph like that. And so, um, sadly, a couple of them recently, uh, the poster suffered a little, not because of the graphic designer, but because of just the, the photograph they had to work with was a less than ideal photograph. And it shows. So, like, the design around it would be great, but the photo itself was not, not great. So, to do that kind of thing, here's a picture of my daughter's great photograph, um, but... It's a little white. In fact, here's the actual uh, uh, one. I, I I made it overly bright just to show you how to do this. Okay, so one thing you can do is you can uh, make a clone of it, and then you can change it to multiply, and it makes the light colors see-through, and the dark colors kind of double up. So basically, you're seeing through this one to itself, and it, it darkens the colors by you know times two so that's one way to do it i mean you could do this multiple times be careful because you can overdo it you could make it potentially too dark that way i'm going to step backward another way to do it is just go into image adjustments brightness contrast and then mess with it you know so you know we want a little bit darker maybe uh you know look for things that should be dark uh brown or or black and see if they are really dark brown and black. And if not, then uh, you can change the contrast too. And same thing, look for something that should be, you know, stark white. If it's not stark white, then you can adjust and compensate. So, you know, again, you can overdo it or under, underdo it. This makes it too mundane, too muddy, too muted. This might make it too sharp, but uh, you control the spectrum. Make it go up or down to your happy. Same thing. This is obviously too bright. This is too dark but you control the spectrum. So, I mean, be particular and uh, get it just right. And so I'm going to click OK. Um, let me just show you the before and the after. Uh, here is the before and here is the after. So, again, two ways. One is to make a clone, put it on multiply. And, again, you control the spectrum. Go up or down until you're pleased with it, you know. And the other way is, let me step backward, image adjustments, and brightness contrast, and then just tweak it until it, it looks, I mean, as perfect as you can get it. And again, here's the before, and uh, here's the after. So uh, again, some of the posters, like this one is just right. I just wanted to show you guys an example. If you have a poster that looks great, but if your main photograph is not by a professional photographer, and does not look like this superb quality, then tweak it. Don't leave it. Don't have an awesome poster with a less than awesome photograph. Does that make sense? And again, if you have the opportunity like we do, um, partner with Connor Cheney, John Wild, somebody like that, and, and they're going to get an awesome photograph. So uh, one more thing. This is off the uh, topic. But uh, 
Okay, just because you made something on the computer doesn't mean you have to leave it like that. You can print it and do stuff after the fact. So this is not something that was overlaid with um, like an imaginary wrinkled paper. This, we printed it, and then we actually wrinkled it. So like the, the folds are actual folds. And so the line, like it literally bends because we wrinkled it up. You know, another thing you could like after the fact, you could design something, have it good, print it, and then I have it upside down. <laughs> um, you could draw on it, you know. So just because something's finished on the computer doesn't necessarily mean it's at its peak. You know, print it, wrinkle it, fold it, rescan it in, draw on it, rescan it in. Um, you can do stuff after the fact. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. My time's up. You guys take it easy.